Mardi Gras and Fat Tuesday has come and gone, but we are keeping the festivities alive with the culinary arts program at LCC. Chef Don Maruyama and student Asia Rock. Asia Rock, here to show us how to make a dish you'll find in New Orleans. So, what are we making today? So this Saturday we have an event at the college. It's called the Louisiana Crawfish Boil. And this event is a collaboration between the Culinary Arts Sustainable Ag Program as well as guests, chefs, and educators from Louisiana. By the way, they were here today working with Asia and her classmates doing some of the preparation for Saturday's event. So we wanted to bring awareness to an invasive or an alien species in Hawaii waters, fresh waters. We caught that or we trapped that today he is a, a crawfish, crawfish from uh, Lo'i. Oh. We're trying to trap about 100 to 150 pounds in the next couple of days on five different farms. Is he still alive? Yeah, I realize it's kind of mean to that crawfish to keep some cooked crawfish. So, right so there's only so one. I'm move it. There's only one in there because they're cannibalistic. Oh. So anyway, okay, these yeah. are the cooked ones that would be cooked in a traditional crawfish boil, and then we have the cooktails in that one uh -huh. that are oh, oh, removed oh. from the shell. Okay. So in addition to the crawfish boil, we're going to be making or serving a crawfish po' boy, which Asia can demo okay. now. Okay, so, so let's walk through it. So this is a remoulade that we made this morning. It's mayonnaise with capers and pickles, several types of herbs, a little anchovy, Oof. mustard, Tabasco, Worcestershire sauce. I like all of that. We're making a, a sort of a crawfish salad. Okay. And then we're gonna use a, a roll or a baguette. Go ahead, go ahead. This is fairly Re simple. It's very simple. As long as you have a cannibalistic crawfish with you, I guess. That's right. So as, even though it's an alien species to Hawaii freshwaters, they're still very delicious. So I know that the camera can't really see this, but I noticed that you guys sort of scooped out the insides of the sandwich. Just a little just to bit make to it, make it, I can hold yeah. this for you. There you go. So for someone who hasn't had crawfish before, um, what is the taste like? Is it similar to maybe shrimp, lobster, crab? It, it's probably more similar to a lobster, I would say. Uh, they're known as freshwater crayfish or crawdads or mud bugs. Mud but bugs. But they are actually a freshwater cousin of lobsters. Okay. Yes. So, so she's we're going to add a little bit of tomato and lettuce. Tomato, Very lettuce. simple. And then we can add a little bit of... If you want, you can add a little more of the remoulade. Yeah, make to that heavy. I, I like sauce. <laughs> Load it up. <laughs> and this will be my sandwich, by the way. We have extra. Yeah, put it out there. <laughs> and so, along with this, due to time constraints, obviously you guys brought a chicken and andouille sausage gumbo already made. Correct. I see it bubbling over there. Correct. Um, for someone who hasn't had gumbo before, can you describe? It's like a heavy soup or stew. Um, it's a soup, okay. and um, it's probably not as thick as most people think. So the first time I went to New Orleans and had this, it was a little looser, a little thinner than I thought it was going to be. It can have a lot of different things, rabbit, it can have shrimp. Rabbit or shrimp? Crave. I've had good rabbit gumbo. So this one has chicken and this andouille sausage was actually prepared or made by our Garmage students. Oh. So um, it's, I think it's fairly traditional. I'm gonna have the chefs from Louisiana check it out Saturday and see what they think. <laughs> oh, uh, but that's traditionally, a cute test, huh? How do you, what are the ingredients in gumbo? So it, it starts with a roux and then they add vegetables. They call it the Holy Trinity, so that would be onions, celery, and bell peppers. Mm -hmm. And then the, for this one, it's chicken and andouille sausage. The students made chicken stock, so we use the chicken stock uh, as, the, as the base and um, just cook it. Spices, we can add um, Tabasco or whatever you want just to make it a little spicy. Just put everything in there? Just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> 
So how long does it twice, how long does it take for it to I I don't know does it have to reduce or how no long? because it has a roux so the roux is okay. a thickening agent that thickens it yeah got yeah. it okay so this is all done would you like me to plate the soup sure Pretty fast. so traditionally it's served with rice so we made it a little really good it is good. I really wish smell of vision was a thing. It's 2023, I think, right? You have a little bit of rice here. And so, Chef, while you're doing that, there are a few events happening with the culinary arts program over at LCC. Sure. Can you I'm mention glad, of one or two? I'm glad you asked. So we have three major events coming up in the next uh, few months. So next month, March, I believe in 25th, we're hosting the Shen De Retisser competition. It's a young chef competition. It's an international competition, and we are hosting it. I believe the last two times the event was held in 2018 and 19, the Leeward Community College students won and represented the region in the nationals at the nationals. Mm -hmm. So this is the first time it's being held since the pandemic. And then in April, I believe it's the 8th, it's a Saturday before Easter, we're doing an Easter to go event. The menu consists of apricot glazed ham, prime rib, braised leg lamb, quiche, and a bunch of other side dishes. Nice. And then finally, after a three-year hiatus, we're going to bring back Lu'ulu, which is our annual fundraiser. It's May 6th. That's on Saturday. We're featuring 13 chefs, several beverage vendors. We'll have a silent auction, live entertainment, and we're expecting about 800 guests this year. We're hoping it's going to be the best one yet. Well, speaking of chefs, we have an aspiring one right here. Before we go, can you talk to us about what made you decide to join the culinary arts program and how you're liking it? Mm -hmm. So I joined it because I really like cooking and my family really loves food. And Who doesn't <laughs> love food? <laughs> and, you know, I really wanted to continue creating what I make at home. And the classes are really tough, but it's a lot of fun. You get to meet new people, you get to try to make new things, and you get to build your culinary experiences with some of the chefs here, like Chef Don. Well, um, if you ever need a taste tester, I am so happy to do that. And speaking of, I'm going to try this. Um, will you take the other half? Yeah. Oh, and of course the gumbo. Yeah, we have a spoon here <laughs> for you. Chef Don Moriyama and Asia Rock, Thank you guys for joining us tonight. Thank you for having us. Thank you for having us. Okay, I'm going to go. I'm going to send it back to the desk now.